Let's find some profitable keywords for your next Google Ads campaign. Timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including a link to our Google Ads playbook, which includes some keyword formulas and negative keyword lists to help shortcut this process. So to get started with our keyword research, we'll go ahead and click on tools and settings at the top here, and then we'll click on keyword planner. And so inside of keyword planner, we can either discover new keywords or get search volume and forecast. Now, search volume and forecast, that's more for agencies when they're doing a pitch or they're just trying to figure out how much a new campaign is going to cost a client. Here, we're going to click on discover new keywords and we can either start with keywords or we could start with a website. Now, a little trick here is it doesn't have to be your website that you start with. So you can go to a big competitor and let's say we were selling men's watches. I really like that example. Then you could go to a couple of larger websites or a website that is specific to men's watches that's big in, your, in that particular niche. And you could type in that URL and Google will give you a bunch of information and keyword ideas based upon that big site. So that's a great way to get started. Here, what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to use something called seed keywords. And this is where I recommend you start. Now, what seed keywords are, they're very broad terms to help, I, help you identify your product or your service. And so to, of course, shortcut the process here, you can go ahead and use one of our keyword formulas, whether you're a services-based business or you are in e-commerce. Link in the description to our Google Ads playbook that has all of these formulas and some additional resources to help you with this keyword process. So in this particular instance, we're doing a services-based business, of course, promoting a Facebook ads agency. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to enter Facebook ad agency, Facebook marketing agency, Facebook ads management, because that describes the type of business that we are and then the service that we offer. And so if I was in e-commerce and I was promoting, let's say men's rings, then I would literally just type in men's rings and that's it. You wanna be super broad because our goal here is to get all of the keywords. We want everything. <laughs> we don't want to leave any stone unturned. So I'll go ahead and click on get results here and then we'll be able to see our dashboard. So I'll quickly go over the settings that we have, and then I'll go into how to actually find the right keywords in all of these. Um, I'll get into why you don't see exact numbers here. And then of course, we'll go through actually organizing them into ad groups so you can actually start making your campaigns with these new keywords. So at the very top here, if you click on this little collection of keywords, you can change your seed keywords or you can add a website. I don't recommend changing this because this is going to change your keyword list. So go ahead and leave this alone for now, but you can always go and change this once you've gone through all 162 keywords. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and X that out. You can also change your location. And so here, I don't recommend being detailed. Just choose the country that you're targeting um, so that you get all the keywords for that particular country. And I'll go ahead and click on cancel. Of course, the language should just match the language that your ads and keywords are going to be in. You can also change what uh, network that you show up on. And this is something that you can just leave as at default. And then you can also change the date range. By default, it's just gonna show you the previous 12 months, which is a good place to start. Now, a couple more things before we get into our actual keywords, timestamps below to skip ahead if you don't want all this, this introduction. And we can go ahead and click on add filter and we can actually filter out our keyword lists. Do I recommend doing this? No, but there are two that might be worth your while. And that is exclude keywords in your account and exclude keywords in your campaign. Of course, there's a column here called account status, so it'll tell you, so you don't really have to do it. Um, but those would be the only two things that I would recommend changing in your filter from this place. But if we jump over to refine keywords over here, this is something that's going to help you, especially if you're in e-commerce. This is going to save you so much time. So I'll go ahead and click on expand all here. And what this does is Google's gone through this list of keywords and it's grouped together some common types that they know on average you might not want to use. And so if you're in e-commerce, you're going to want to uncheck all the brands that aren't on your site, right? Like if you're, if you're selling Adidas shoes on your site, you don't want to look at Nike keywords because someone's looking for Nikes, it's not going to buy Adidas, right? And 
probably vice versa. I'm not really a sneakerhead, but that just was the example that came to mind. So I'm going to select Instagram, Reddit, and other brands because it's not going to be related to the offer that I have as a Facebook ads agency offering Facebook ads services. And then we can go ahead and scroll down here and I'm also going to uncheck Facebook ads manager. And this is just because I know when someone's typing in Facebook ads manager, they're looking for the manager tool, not looking to hire me to help them manage their account. And so um, obviously there's going to be nuances in your particular niche or industry, uh, but this is going to help you just take out the keywords that are going to be irrelevant to your particular offer and your customer. So now we've gone from 162 down to 131, and you can come up here to the X button and you can exit out and you can always click on refine keywords to bring that back. So we'll go ahead and now we're going to actually dive into our keyword idea. So we got 131 out of 162, and this is both tedious, it can be arduous, you can roll your eyes at me like you really want me to go through all hundreds or thousands of keywords. So the bad news is yes, you definitely need to go through all these. The good news is once you do this, you're never gonna have to do it again. <laughs> like ever really, because there's only so many different ways someone's going to search for your product or service. And so for time purposes here, I'm just going to quickly scroll through and I'm gonna select uh, around 20 keywords or 30 keywords that represent someone looking for a Facebook ad agency or Facebook ad services. You want to be very specific. So if you look at a keyword and you look at it and you go, well, they might be interested in what I want, but I'm not quite sure, you have two options. Number one, just ignore it because there's so many keywords in the world and there's no need to ha have tire kickers clicking on your ads. Or number two, you could just add that to a list of, I should check it out. And so if you're not quite sure about a keyword, just take that keyword, go over to Google private browsing incognito mode, paste the keyword in and see what shows up and see if the organic search results and the ads represent someone who would be actually looking for your product or service. Most of the time you're gonna find that if it's on the fence, it's gonna be a no because you don't want to pay for a keyword that you're not sure if it's a buyer, right? We want people who want to buy. We don't want people who are looking for a how-to article or just looking for a bunch of reviews because they're not quite ready to make a buying decision. And so once you've selected all of your keywords, you can come up here and click on plan and then go ahead and just add it to a plan. You can add it to an existing campaign. So if you clicked existing campaign, you could go ahead and create a new ad group. You could select your match types. I don't recommend doing that. Just leave it at plan and then go to add keywords. I'll show you how to download all these keywords and properly organize them because it's gonna be a lot easier just using a basic spreadsheet, even if you hate Excel or Google Sheets or uh, whatever spreadsheet application you like to use, uh, it'll be a lot easier than using the interface. So we'll go and click on add keywords to create our plan. And then we can click on keyword plan on the left-hand side to check out our keywords that we've added, or we can go ahead and click on view saved keywords down here. Now you'll see the account status, it's now told us that it's in our plan. And so you'll leave that column there so you don't accidentally add the same keyword twice. So we'll go ahead and come up here and click on keyword plan. And now we can see a list of all of the keywords that we've selected. Now, obviously for time purposes, I didn't go through all 131. That would be boring for both of us, uh, but you would want to go through all 100 plus keywords for yourself. So once we have this list, we're actually going to come up here to download it as a CSV. So we'll go ahead and click on download a CSV, open it up in Google Sheets or Excel or OpenOffice or whatever your numbers on Mac, whatever you're using. And then through the power of editing, this process took about 20 to 30 minutes. And at the end of it, we have seven, three to seven keywords per ad group. And all of the keywords are grouped by similar search variation. So I put all the company keywords together, I put all the agency keywords together, and then if someone was looking for pricing, I went ahead and put that together. And as you can see at the end, we have lead generation and e-com. They didn't really go with anything else. So they're gonna have to be their own ad group because if I'm going to write an ad, I can't write an ad for lead generation and for e-com for at the same time. One ad's gonna have to say, Facebook ads for lead generation, another ad's gonna have to say Facebook ads for e-com. And so that means they have to be two separate ad groups because I have to make two different ads. So that's another way to think about how to organize these keywords. 
it is going to take some time, right? And this is a part of the process that you definitely do not want to skip out on because the better your keyword groupings here, the better your ads are going to perform and the easier it is it's to optimize your campaigns later on down the road. So here, this would be what I would use for creating a new campaign or a new series of campaigns and these would be how I would group the keywords together. So jumping back over into the Google Ads interface, there's one other feature here with the keyword planner that might be helpful. We'll go ahead and click on forecast and then we're going to immediately change it from maximize clicks to manual CPC. I'll go ahead and apply. And now this is going to give you some projections on what Google thinks you're going to get in terms of traffic and conversions based upon your cost per click. Now I like, of course, starting at two or $3 per click. So I'll just go ahead and change this to $2. And now we can kind of see what we could expect to get and how much it would cost over a 30 day period of running traffic like this. And so this is a great tool to kind of play with. Please take this with a grain of salt, right? Because you're going to be using different match types than what's shown here. You're going to be targeting different locations. Your ad copy and your landing page are going to play a significant role in how your ads perform. And of course, you're also going to want to create something called negative keywords. And so these are gonna be keywords that you tell Google that you don't want to show up for. And so I'll link up in the description to our Google Ads playbook that actually includes a list of negative keywords that I recommend everyone use irrespective of your niche or industry, just to make sure that you don't get people who are information seekers or people who aren't ready to make a buying decision or jump on the phone with you. And to leave this interface, all you have to do is click X. You'll be taken back to your campaigns. And of course, you can always go to tools and settings to go back to your plan. Google tends to save your last plan. So if you forgot to download it as a CSV, most likely Google will have saved it for you just in case something goes wrong. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. Most importantly, you're much more confident using the keyword planner to find your keywords. Link in the description to our Google Ads playbook. It includes some keyword formulas to help you get started with your research, along with some other helpful tips and tricks for actually writing your ads. And of course, a list of negative keywords you should definitely add to your campaigns. So hit that like button, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.